Hi guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to Mama Shmoo's Homeschool Reviews, where I share all things about homeschool, resources, I love doing flip-throughs, all that good stuff. I have been gone for a very long time on YouTube, and I missed you guys a lot. I missed showing all of our curriculum and resources that we love and use, and I really want to get back to the old school, like, Mama Shmoo's reviews, like sharing things with you guys, doing flip-throughs, all of the things that I love about YouTube. When I was researching my curriculum, I just really appreciate when people walk through some of the work text and activity books and teacher guides and the books that they like reading and why they like it and how things look in the inside. So today I'm going to give that to you guys. If you guys like that type of content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you guys are returning subscribers, thanks for being patient with me. If you're not familiar with my channel, we really enjoy BJU math and we've been using it for kindergarten through fifth grade. Um, hopefully we'll be using it for sixth grade and they have a new edition that I want to share with you guys on there. So if you're wanting to look at that, just subscribe to my channel and you'll see that come out when I get that. Um, I have all of the flip throughs from kindergarten to fifth grade and I will link it down in the playlist below if you're looking for other grades to look at because I've shown flip throughs for like many years and it's just nice to have it all in one playlist for you so it's easy access and then you can have all the links of the Amazon links or BJU links for the books are down below for you guys. Okay so I wanted to show you guys before I move on to anything the work text that the student does. So these are the things that I rip out. They have three hole punches. It's perfect to put in your portfolio and they always start off with something to read and then they go straight into the lessons and then this is what a lesson looks like just so you can have an understanding of what a chapter looks like this is further on because this is halfway through the year so this is what a typical lesson or chapter would look like they give lots of examples up at the top for each lesson and that's what she usually looks at and i have her read it making sure she understands what she's doing and I always make sure to remind her to read the directions because sometimes when you don't read the directions, you get lots of stuff wrong. They also have lots of solving problems, word problems that I absolutely love. And I think it's very vital for kids to know how to critically think things out and figure out the word problems. Because when I was a kid, I was not gifted at doing word problems at all. And so every time I have the opportunity to do one with my kids, if they're struggling with it, I will but I will have them do it on their own first and then we'll work through it if they're having issues. Also for BJU, at the end of each chapter is a review, making sure that they understand what they just learned in that chapter and it's, it's a great way to figure out if they need more practice or not, which then comes in um, the activity book. This is a black and white, pretty much almost the same as the work text, a black and white, um, work text for students and if they're struggling with one of the lessons they can do this extra practice. Now we've only used it a few times when my daughter was um, having difficulty on certain things she grabbed this and did a few extra activities. If your kids um, need extra help I would say get it. If not I don't know. I mean it does come in the whole package when you purchase it online um, but it's not a thing that you necessarily need in my opinion. Um, I'm going to get right into the back and this is the handbook. This is where they go over the concepts, problem solving, addition and subtraction, customary measurement, data and graphs, decimals, fractions, geography, everything that you or the kids will be learning for fifth grade will be here. And I wanted to just do a quick flip through for you guys so you can see exactly what they're going to be doing for fifth grade because this is basically everything that they're going to be doing. And this just explains the chapters to them a little bit better. If they're having some issues with things, they could go back to the handbook and look at this. So if you want to pause on any pages to see what they're doing, you can. But I just thought that this would be a good way for you to see what they're doing, like integers, metric measurement, multiplication and division, lots of multiplication, division, place value, like more things, things that they've done in fourth grade, but more advanced. Ratios, percentages, proportions. They go over like time and calendar stuff. I can show you a little bit of the beginning of my daughter's 
and kind of do a little flip through. She typically does all of her work on the work page and um, sometimes I have her use like the graph paper just to work out like the long division problems if she doesn't have enough room. But what I like about BJU, they have these little graphs that they could work on their, their four digit dividends and I think it's really cool how they set this up. It's colorful, it's not boring. Um, sometimes they have a lot of problems on a lesson. So sometimes I'll have her do even, sometimes I'll have her do odds. Or if she's really struggling one day, like it's happened a few times where like we both were like not understanding it or it's just taking a long time to figure it out and she's struggling and she's frustrated. Sometimes I might just have her do like half of a page and then the next day we'll do the other half. And you know what? If you get behind, you get behind. Sometimes we double up on a lesson just to, to catch up on a Friday because we do Monday through Thursday. So there's lots of ways to make things work with your kids. You don't have to stress out so much to make sure you finish. Another thing I want to let you guys know is that um, this book is 180 lessons, which is 180 days, which is way longer than 36 weeks of school for us because we do four day weeks. And I just wanted to let you guys know. So that is something that I wanted to let you guys in on because I know with the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts, we have 120 lessons and that's really nice because we get that finished. But with our math, it's a little different. Some years we do all of it. Some years we skip because we um, we just can't get to everything because we're so busy. Some years you can finish up the math in the summertime if they need review and you want to keep on having them like work on that so that they don't lose what they've learned before, which is really a great option. So this summer I'm going to try to have them do a little bit because we do need to finish it up. I wanted to show you guys the teacher edition. There's part one and there's part two. I'll just share with you guys part one so you can see what it looks like as chapters one through nine in this one. And then part two, it has 10 through chapter 18. And it's all broken down to where they talk about like the biblical worldview and academic and instruction materials, the lesson features, the review features and the lesson plan overview. So if you want to pause this, take a screenshot to look at this, you can. This is like all the materials you can buy if you get the whole package. And then right into the lesson features. So I wanted to get into this because when I'm trying to figure out like a curriculum, I like to know exactly what I'm getting and how it's going to help me teach my kids better. So here in the lesson features, it goes over objectives at the very beginning. It gives you the lesson number, the work text pages, like what the kids will be doing in their actual workbook, the materials that you need, the resources for the teachers, and the teach for understanding. So this area here and here and throughout here will be all of the things that you would talk to your classroom about or your homeschool student and it gives you the focus of what you're going to talk about some of the questions that you have for them are in um, blue and then the answers are in red so you don't have to figure out the answers the students can figure out the answers as you're going through um, the lesson with them to explain the concept now as i'm talking to you guys about this i wanted to mention that the way i taught my kids from kindergarten all the way through fourth grade, we never used a teacher guide. So I was always solving the problems and checking their answers. And it was pretty simple up until third grade. Fourth grade got a little harder because then I had to figure out and solve the problems myself. So this is a major blessing to have the answer key. I don't know why I didn't do it earlier, but I was trying to be, I don't know, minimal, frugal, I guess. If I didn't need it, I didn't need it. But I would highly recommend it for fifth grade. It's nice to have the answers. And these two pages reflect what the kids would see in their work text and you would get the answers. And I'll show you a better like overview when I get into the book a little further on. Here are all of the lesson plan overview. I like how they plan it all out. It's color coded, each chapter has their own color. The lessons are here, the teacher edition pages, the works, work text pages, and then the extra activities um, that I showed you so it goes from number sense to the second chapter, addition and subtraction, multiplication, geometry, lines and angles, 
Chapter 5, division, one-digit divisors, fractions. Chapter 7 is division, two-digit divisors, and it has all the objectives here. So you have like kind of like a scope and sequence, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. Chapter 8 is the time and customary measurement. Chapter 9 is fractions, addition, and subtraction. So it has all the chapters and all the overview of what they're going to be learning. And then every chapter always starts off with like a few paragraphs explain about aviation, becoming a pilot, because that's the theme, as you can see, of this year, which is really cool. Most of it, when we first started it, we read this a lot, and then as we got into it in the later part of the year, we kind of skipped it. So whenever I have a chance to read it out loud, I will with my daughter, because it is very interesting. You learn a lot, and there's lots of science, I think, incorporated in it and practical like life skills and if they're interested in aviation becoming a pilot or doing engineering work or whatever it's a really cool thing to talk about with them so here is what the lesson page looks like uh, again the objective here teach a resource practice and review teach for understanding and then they give you the two pages that your students are doing in this workbook and all the answers are in like this hot pink so it's really simple to see it's really easy to have. I usually like put a little tab thing um, on the page that I'm on so that when she's doing her work and she finishes it up and she's having issues with some that we go over, I see she gets a little bit wrong, I have this out and then I could easily help her walk through it because I have the answers right in front of me. It's a lot easier than trying to figure it out yourself because I don't have time for that. Especially if you have a few kids, you don't have time to do that. Now this it, next page, this is how it this is how they do it. This is the activity sheet that you'll find that's black and white. So if they need extra practice, they will use this. But you could easily just skip it and go to the next lesson. So this is lesson two, and here are the answer keys again. And then here's the lesson plans with the objectives and the questions that you ask the kids in blue. So this answer, or this question would be, for instance, what period does the number extend into? And then the answer is in hot pink. This is what every page looks like so it goes from lesson with the answers to the activities page and I love how it's all, all color coded by chapter and it's really self-explanatory and I just I love it now I don't use it as much as I thought I would as far as explaining like I said the lessons but the answer key is is ideal to have in fifth grade and even in fourth grade I would say it's worth getting um, but my son, he did third grade this year, and I really just check his work really quickly. It doesn't take that much time, and if I have to use, like, a calculator, I will just to make it speed up a little bit. But for the most part, I mean, I just feel like it's not necessary to have the teacher guide unless you need more of a, you need more of a guide to explain to your kids the concept, because not everybody knows how to teach their kids math, or maybe it takes your kids a little bit longer to understand something, and you do need like a guide, the teacher edition. So it all depends on what you like and your style of teaching and what makes you feel comfortable homeschooling. So I hope this has helped you guys. I hope you guys can get a peek into the curriculum to see if this is something that works for your family or that your kids might like. It all depends on their teaching, on your teaching style and the way they like to learn. And you got to just, you know, try things out. And then once you find a curriculum that works for your family, it's like really, really amazing. So let me know if you have any questions. I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to hear um, any comments down below. Like just I haven't heard from you guys for a long time. So it'd be cool to talk with you guys down below. I will be sharing the math six, hopefully, um, when I can. And then also... If you guys have any flip throughs on any curriculum that you would like to see, let me know down below as well. And like I said, I have kindergarten all the way through fifth grade for BJU. So if you want to see any other books, um, especially the work text I go through so you could see what they look like, I will have that playlist down below for you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. See you guys later.